Hello, I'm Adi Perfumes and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button, like this video and share this video as well. Um, today I'm going to be going over perfumes that I think are very signature perfume worthy. These are perfumes that I believe they smell so distinct, they still smell unique. When I first got my nose on them, I was like, wait wait these smell really really good so those are the perfumes i'm gonna be going over today so um yeah let's get straight into it starting off that list is la belle by jean paul gautier this is a beautiful pear scent it has pear bergamot floral notes leather vanilla vetiver amber and musk i have to tell you this is all the rage on tiktok and as well as on instagram i believe when i first tried this perfume i don't know what i was expecting but i was not expecting the pear to be so prominent this is the first really really prominent per pear perfume i've tried i don't know much the only prominent pear perfume i've actually tried so um it was interesting because it just gives a whole different vibe i've never seen anyone nail pear like really get that pear note like they did with jean paul but here it's such a beautiful pear scent the pear really comes through i actually you know i feel like this is probably like the first time or maybe i've forgotten i'm actually checking off the notes because i see leather among the notes and normally i don't like leather in perfumes like i've had perfumes that people are love and to me just because the leather is too much i couldn't handle it so just knowing that this has leather has me even more impressed with this perfume because you do not get all of that like brushness or harshness of leather you majorly just get a juicy juicy pear which is really great and i feel like they really did a good job in making sure that that top note stays relevant throughout even with the dry down that's a great job on their part i absolutely love this it's a great pear scent very juicy super long lasting this is actually one of the most long lasting designer perfumes that i own it's just really good <laughs> it's just it's very good i feel like this is signature perfume worthy this is one of those perfumes that if you're wearing not that a lot of people smell like this so if one person is wearing it it's something that can be associated with them and yeah, I really, really like this one. I just really, really like this one. And um, definitely signature worthy. The first time I tried it, I was like, wow, that is a lot of pear. I've, I've never had anything with that much pear. So I truly, truly enjoy this one by Jean-Paul Gaultier, La Belle. The next perfume that I'm going to be talking about that I think is very signature perfume worthy is Passe Soir by BDK Perfumes. okay now i still don't understand why this perfume does not get as much hype as it deserves it is so beautiful this has ginger mandarin orange excuse me black pepper queens jasmine orange blossom cashmere and amber wood and patchouli it's just such it's such a beautiful beautiful scent i used to think this had lang lang in it just because of how sweet it was but i guess it's the queens but it's 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 one of my favorites as you can see by the tent it's a great everyday scent because it's not offensive it's sweet in a way that is not too sickly sweet and it's calm and very comforting and cozy in a way that is not too much and i feel like that's what makes this very signature perfume worthy um a story about I even got this one. I had gone for the BDK perfume event where they actually revealed um, Gris Chanel, the extra version. I had gone for that event here in New York. And um, I remember that I went into that event thinking to myself, I'm going to be buying Gris Chanel. That's what I thought. I'm going to buy Gris Chanel. That's what I want to buy. But they had all of the BDK perfumes. I'm like, let me smell the rest. And I got my nose on this one i'm like yeah i i don't i don't want great i eventually i eventually own gris chanel but i was like yeah i don't want gris chanel right now this is the one i want so i went home with passe soir it's beautiful it's sweet it's nice it's 
it's everything really i absolutely love it i feel like it's a great everyday scent it's a great scent for someone that doesn't want to do too much but at the same time wants to smell really good and still get compliment on their perfume it's one of those scents that it also lasts a very long time when you spray it and it also retains the initial opening so it stays sweet for most of the day and i love that this is one of my most comforting scents just because i enjoy how well like it balances everything out it's sweet it's just I find this perfume to be very pretty and I feel like it's signature scent worthy because this is not a scent you smell everywhere. It's one of those scents when I smell like, ah, I must have it now. Let's, let's not, let's not prolong this. I must have this now. Yeah. So it's one of those scents you don't, not everyone smells like this. So signature perfume worthy. If you want, don't want to smell like everyone else and all of those characteristics that come with this perfume, I feel like you should give it a try. I absolutely love it. Cannot get enough of it. It's my number one easy reach perfume. Like if I'm in a hurry, if I'm going out to day to day activities, this I would always grab for this because it's such an easy wear. It's not. It doesn't do too much. It's not overly complicated. It's just really nice and I really really enjoy it. I think it's signature perfume worthy. And I think it's signature perfume worthy. This one I it's a little bit pricier because it's an initial perfume, but honestly, the first time I got my nose on this, this is psychedelic love by initial. The very first time I got my nose on this was a sample. I don't even remember where they got where I got the sample from, but I had a sample of it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I never I have never had my nose on anything that smells like this. Especially for someone that loves powdery scent. It just felt like I was in heaven. It just felt like I was in heaven. It just, it's so sweet and powdery. It has Lang Lang, Bergamot, Elithrobe, Hedion, Rose, Myrrh, and Sandalwood. It's just such a blend of everything sophistication, everything money, everything well. And I, I, just, I ate it up like i i ate it up like the minute i was done with the sample not the the minute i was done i was checking out for the full bottle i cannot get enough of it now the only thing with this is once i did get the full bottle and i started wearing it out more i discovered it's not one of those scents that you can i would say it's an everyday scent unless of course you know wear what you want if you want to wear it every day but i truly believe this is one of those every time you go out that distinct smell but i've never it's it's so unique. I don't, I've never smelled anything else that smells like this. It's so, it doesn't fall into any category. It's sweet. It's powdery. It, it gives me goosebumps every time I just, I do this. It's so nice. And in true initial fashion, it lasts for hours, days. It lingers. It does all of the things initial perfumes would normally do, which is just amazing longevity, really. I absolutely... I love it. I feel like it's one of the most unique scents that I've ever come across and it's definitely signature perfume worthy. I remember I was scrolling through social media the other day and I had seen a video of a lady that was talking about how when she wore this she got so many compliments and she doesn't know why we're not talking about it. Like says, I've been talking about this perfume since the minute I got it. I've been trying to tell people, listen, this, but if you love something sweet and you love something powdery, you need to try this. It smells really good. It's super long lasting and it's very unique. It's another perfume that I, I found super really unique and I think it's signature perfume worthy, but I think it may lean a little bit more, maybe masculine, but honestly, I don't care. I feel like it's unisex. Anyone can wear it. It's Toba Color by Dior. So this is the October color. It has tobacco, tobacco leaf, honey, smoke, plum, orange notes, white tobacco, amber, peach, and citruses. This is just, it's it's just tobacco. It smells like you're walking like everyone you're in one of those cigar shops, but in a very refined and sophisticated way. If that is a good way to explain it, it's just it's so good for a tobacco scent. Can you see the dent? that I have on this because every now and then I just wear it and I feel different. It gives a whole different vibe that just makes me feel very expensive. It makes me feel very... I feel like it's one of those confidence boosting perfumes. Anytime I'm feeling down or I really want people to like, like, oh, she's here. This is one of those perfumes. 
I wear the tobacco is so distinct this would go great on a woman on a man I feel like regardless anyone can wear this and still really enjoy it it's one of those perfumes that it's just so nice now I wouldn't advise anyone that doesn't like tobacco to go for this because like the name says it's very very tobacco heavy however it's just I really enjoy it like I never even thought I would enjoy a tobacco perfume but with this one there's just something so sophisticated so nice about it that I just really enjoy and from the minute I unboxed it from the minute I got my nose on this I'm like yes and it was a blind buy too I was like this was a successful blind buy you know so um this is I just really like it I feel like it's great I feel like it, it really gives you the run for the money it smells very expensive it's one of those perfumes that both the woman and the man can wear it and it's fine like you both can carry the auto color just fine I I just love it it's very distinct so I think it's signature perfume worthy it's one of those perfumes that someone if I had someone that was smelling like this I would never forget the person I would never ever forget the person just because it's such a distinct smell like that the 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 smoke in it it's also like coming through so it's it's not your everyday scent it's not your flowers it's, it's like its own category altogether altogether so next one is a personal favorite of mine and it is Ebapura by Zerjaf This has Sicilian orange, bergamot, lemon, fruits, white moss, Madagascar vanilla, and amber. Now for someone, which is someone is me, <laughs> for someone that does not like musk, I love Everpura. Like I love, love, love Everpura. And I don't, me and musk, we don't play like that, you know? And it's just so funny because this to me is the most fruity classy like i feel like the musk in this is just beautiful for for someone that doesn't like musk to compliment musk as such it's a big deal the musk in this is absolutely beautiful it's very fruity though all of the orange all of the lemon but it's it's distinct i still don't have anything that smells like this it's unique and every time i describe it and someone is like what does it smell like i always tell them it smells very classy you smell like the lady that you know the ceo yeah mm -hmm. that's what you're smelling like the ceo that's what this smells like that's what the vibe it gives me it's a very unique scent and i feel like it's very signature worthy the other day i was going out at night and i actually just sprayed it around my hair and let me tell you for every th time i did this I could it was like it was pouring through the projection is insane it's and it lasts oh does it last it lasts for days it's just such a signature worthy scent um when I initially got this perfume I couldn't put it down I was wearing this perfume for like two months straight every single day I remember three used to make jokes then on my TikTok that I'm they're pretty sure my room smells like Ebapura because I was always spraying this I was obsessed with it and I am still obsessed with it I absolutely love it it's very signature perfume worthy it's just it's unique it's distinct you know for fruity scents there's so many fruity scents everyone is taking a fruit and it's a perfume it's very hard to be different from all the others right so when you find something that just stands out you 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 hold on tight to it you grab onto it, which is what i'm doing with ever i'm grabbing onto it because i absolutely love the way it smells it just gives me so like i i just love it i don't know what are the words to use that say i love it if you love fruity scents this is one that you would absolutely enjoy it definitely get compliments all the time well i don't get compliments all the time when i wear it but i do get compliments when i do wear it and um I just feel like it's very intoxicated like I cannot get enough of it I don't know what is in this juice but I like it I like it a lot this is Mason Mata'a Escapade Gourmand <laughs> I always tell the story of this perfume is how what well, the vanilla oh <laughs> If your perfume is not making you do this, if you're not getting a visceral reaction, like Farah would say, then you're doing something wrong. Do it again. Yeah, I love this one. This has vanilla, it has tonka bean, it has sugarcane, it has benzoin, it has musk. 
it's just so beautiful. I've smelled a lot of vanilla perfume, but this is distinct. Now that is a hard feat to achieve. Being a vanilla perfume that would stand out from all the multiple vanilla perfumes. I feel like vanilla has to be one of the most sought out scent. Everyone wants to have a good vanilla perfume. So almost every perfume else has something vanilla, right? But for one to stand out in the way it smells, in the way it projects, in its lasting power, that's an art feat to achieve. And I just love it. I feel like it's very different. The sugar cane in there is very distinct. It's very prominent. And I just really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that about it. So, um, yeah. Miss and Mataha, if you love sweet scents, you like smelling sweet, but you don't want all like the vanilla perfume that everyone else is having, you want a nice sweet perfume that would still have you smelling distinct. This is one for the books definitely try this one mason mataha escape gourmand it's just mwah, mwah. it's like you can't go wrong and once again i'm gonna mention this again one of my most like my favorite thing about this perfume is how it retains that initial spray hours after you used it i absolutely love that for it and yeah that's why it's making the list and then Finally, on that list is Rosendo Matteo number five. I've talked about this a lot, so I'm gonna keep it super short. This is one of the best musky flowers I've ever tried. I feel so feminine every time I wear this. I feel like a princess. I feel like I'm walking through flower beds, and I absolutely love that. It's just so nice. Like, it's very, very, very nice, and I truly enjoy it. So yeah, it's a very distinct one. I, I don't have any. The first time I got my nose on this, I'm like, oh my gosh. I recently, a friend of mine on TikTok tried this. And she's like, I need to have this perfume now. It's so nice. It's so distinct in the way it smells. And that's the reaction this gives. To number five, it's so distinct. It's floral. It's pretty. It's delicate. The minute I smelled this perfume, I told someone, I said, I just want to, I want to wear a long dress. And I want to start running through a flower bed that's the way this makes me feel look at the dent the last time i was on here talking about this i did not have this much of a dent but look at the dent i have on this now i use this so much this is what it looks like i use this so much it's it's just it's one of my favorites honestly and i will have a video soon of all of my favorite perfumes but this is definitely at the top of the list it smells so good for someone that doesn't like musk i'm obsessed with the musk in this perfume it's just mm, i just love it so much if you're looking for that perfume that is delicate pretty girly floral this is the one you need to try out it's worth every single penny and I just am obsessed with it. I would love to have other perfumes that smell like this. So if you do have recommendations of perfume that smell even similar to Resemble Matthew number five or use this type of vibes, definitely let me know in the comment section because I, I just am obsessed with it. I cannot get enough of this one. I really cannot. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really do appreciate you watching it. Um, if you've not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like this video, share, and thank you for being here.